Thank you for tuning in to Seriously Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play at Seriously Podcast, as well as on the Indie Creative Network. Please like, rate, review, and subscribe, and spread the word. Let the people know about your new favorite podcast. Thanks again for tuning in, and enjoy the show. This battle called life, our spirit is one So raise up both flags, victorious one My immigrant son, my immigrant son My immigrant child, you immigrant child You in super races, this struggle goes for miles You can't serve to masses, but you have to hold My immigrant son, my immigrant son My immigrant son Strange Hey everyone, I'm Brittany And I'm Mary And welcome back to another episode of Seriously Okay guys, so we're back with our recap of Tough Love We're continuing with our fan favorite with our next guest Who we also met at New York City Web Fest Who we're extremely excited to finally meet Because we all share a love of web series So please welcome to the show, Phil Hernandez (laughs) Thank you for coming in, Phil (laughs) Thank you for having me (laughs) All right, so what was the very first web series you ever watched? Uh, the very first web series I watched was one called How Men Become Dogs. Yes. And it's from the Issa Rae Network on YouTube. Okay. So, I think uh, I've seen that one. Yeah, it's with yeah. Um, How Brothers With No Game, I feel like. Yeah, Aren't they yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the first one I saw. And then after that, I kept seeing whole bunch i saw the awkward black girl one Mm -hmm. i saw a whole bunch but yeah yeah that was the first one awesome so what's your favorite of all time (sighs) tough love tough love really tough love tough love tough love tough love yeah it's a great pick yeah yeah okay um okay can you tell people what is it what it is that you do um i am a blogger i blog for a website named Blacktown TV, and they showcase and spotlight um, black men and women in in music and acting mm-hmm. and stuff. But we also showcase web series by or starring black men and women. Uh, we have like over six hundred posts on there mm-hmm. and videos and. Um, yeah, that's where I started, and so I still write for them, but I also have my own blog uh, where I just blog about whatever I like. <laughs> I did a recap on on Tough Love on the first season. It took a lot because there was a lot <laughs> going on, but um, yeah, it's called Fell Talks Web Series, so yes. yeah, I blog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, we really enjoyed your Thank your recap. You. Um, we even like each um, guest that we had for the fan favorite. We referred them to your, really? your blog. Yeah, so what? you're like because really? a lot of people are new to like web series and self love. So we're like, you know, if you don't have time to watch season one, this recap is don't very detailed. Yeah, <laughs> so everybody you. check out his blog. Thank you. Um, in your opinion, what makes a great web series? Like, what do you look for in a series? A great web series is one. I think that has all the good ingredients. You have to have good characters. Mm -hmm. You have to have characters that you feel like you're part of. And you got to have twists and turns. Mm -hmm. I don't like one that's like, you know the ending. I like one where you know the ending and whoop, something else happens. It surprises you, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I usually go for in web series. Yes. Um, okay, so what tips do you have for up-and-coming bloggers or writers? Um, uh, I would say the only tip I have is to, if you really love to blog, just keep writing. Keep mm-hmm. writing, keep writing, don't stop. Even if you're not writing for a big site, mm-hmm. start your own blog because that's what I did. And I got I, I eventually got on Black Town TV, but it took a while, but just keep writing, keep writing, yeah. keep writing, and you will see something. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into Tough Love. Who's your favorite character on the show? And why? Uh, my favorite is Monica. I think because... Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 I think because she, she's like me, where if she's... With you, she's with you. That's it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't care about everybody else right, right. talking. She's with you, and and that's a good thing, but also a bad thing, as we saw in this episode. Yes. <laughs> but you know, um, 
Yeah, that's that's my favorite. Yeah, her. <laughs> yeah, I like Monica. Yeah, she's cool. She's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it seems that like all the couples of season one are done. So which couple do you wish to work things out? Uh, Jordan and Keith. Oh my god! I you want know them I back. Love them. I, I love them. them back. <laughs> I want them back together, but I think she fucked it up. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> she did. Yeah, she yeah. did, and she knows it. I think she messed up, so. Yeah. But I'm hoping. I hope so. We only got two episodes left, but I hope so. <laughs> All right, so game time. We're going to do um, date, marry, or check, please. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so Alicia, Jordan, and Monica. Which one for each? I would marry Monica. Okay. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I would date Alicia and what's it called? Check cut? please, yeah, oh. like oh cut. Yeah, check please. Jordan, Jordan you know, see you for Jordan. Why? Mm-mm. She's my spirit animal. Mm-mm. Because I think like if if we got together, I mm-hmm. would I would be having to keep pooping myself. Yeah. And if she would knock that down, I'd have True. to poop myself again. No, no. You ain't got time. No. <laughs> I got. No. It. No. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get into the recap episode four. Um, a lot went down this episode, so let's get into it. Every single thing they told our parents they would never get. I'm Nigerian, I'm American, not bad, huh? Miami grandson, Miami grandson. This battle called life, our spirit is one. So raise up both flags, victorious one. Miami grandson, Miami grandson, Miami grandchild. You and me grandchild. You in super races, this road goes for miles. You can't serve to masses, but you have to hold Miami grandson. So we open up with Monica and Mr. Gentleman Jason. They're on a cute little picnic mm-hmm. um, in Central Park date. I personally just want to know, uh, where's Tubla finding these guys, like, a picnic dates and <laughs> boat um, rides They're around romantic. the city? But They're they romantic. don't happen. They don't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so even Monica told him, like, wow, this is really nice. My ex never liked to go out on dates at all. He's like, so what did y'all do? And she tells him basically just Netflix and chill, Hulu and chill, YouTube and chill. And I'm like, girl, don't don't play YouTube and chill because we got some web series out there. <laughs> so Jason's like, all right, maybe he was, you know, like a homebody. But sh- she's not telling him that her ex was out in these streets and wouldn't sure. give her anything else right, but a yeah. situation ship. That's right. right. That's right. So they start to talk about music, and they have a little cute little debate about rap, Tupac versus um, Biggie. And yeah, she was insulting Biggie, and I did not appreciate it. That's you what didn't I said, too. It. That's what I said. Yeah. That's what I said. She said something I'm like... I'm from Brooklyn, so I don't play that. Yeah, that's that. what I said. That's what I'm... Yeah, yeah I'm from the Brooklyn. same way. Okay. Yeah, she said something like she couldn't get past his delivery because right. he sounded fat. Yeah. yeah. I was like, girl, what? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't get what that means. She's like, I couldn't get past it. Girl, what? I don't get what that means. She wasn't giving him the credit. She said Tupac was her favorite. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like Tupac too, but Mm-mm. Biggie's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, then they talk about, you know, current rappers, and she says J. Cole's her current rapper. Her I current like J. Cole. favorite rapper. Yeah, he's cool. So I'm like, okay, she won me over now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we go to Alicia, and we got another singer on our hands. Yes, so she's singing too. <laughs> so we got Alicia, we got Monica, we got Quincy. Quincy. <laughs> so Flo, where's the Every album? Episode, somebody, <laughs> where's the here? album? Where's the album? Right. <laughs> Another singer, I love it. Um, she's doing her hair, drinking wine, and she's singing. Ooh, she's going three. through all the motions. She's doing her, mm-hmm. her, her little twist out. I'm yeah. like, girl, pour, pour, sipping pour, on baby. that Beyonce lemonade. Mm-hmm. So then yes. Jordan bangs on the on the door and is like, "Shut up, all that damn noise, girl! <laughs> Don't nobody want to hear that." <laughs> and she's like, "Do you want to go out? Like, get your head out of? Do you want to like clear your head or something mm-hmm. like that?" She's like, "No, all I want is Quincy. All I want is Quincy. <laughs> Stupid." <laughs> I can't deal with her doing her twist out, crying over Quincy, yes. and singing Beyonce. It's too, too, much. Much. It's too, too much. much. Too much. Too much. So then um, we go to the next scene. Darius is like chilling, watching the days go by. He was sweating. <laughs> it was hot. It was he summer, just has I guess. A fan. He just it was hot. Yeah. yeah. He just it was and hot. Faith, she catches herself trying to cut up with him. It's it, hot, girl. Before, it's hot. Before she even could plop down on the couch, Darius is like, you know, it's don't too touch hot, me. babe. Don't touch AKA, me. I do not like you. Do not <laughs> touch me. I Clearly annoyed. Yes. <laughs> You? <laughs> so, but she still don't get it. She's trying you to move up to him. Game, like, still cuddle you. more. He mm-hmm. moves away again. She's like, is it the baby? Is it me? Why would 
to be the baby. Come on. Because <laughs> not his. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Talk he about it. He don't know yet. He's not that smart. He's, stupid. He's so stupid. He's so stupid. She's like, it's her, isn't it? Your mind is on that B, Monica. He said, don't call her that. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't confirm or deny anything. Uh, like, he was just like, just don't call her that. <laughs> so, we go to the next scene. Uh, we back with Monica and Jason. They making out in the park. Mm-hmm. Um, then he's like, love. It's, it's getting dark. So, you know, he invites her to come to his rooftop. Mm-hmm. And she's like, first she says, like, what are you trying to do? Sleep with me on the first night? Right. And he's like, no. But then she agrees to go with him. So they go off. But what I want to say, because before um, they went, Jason asked, like, what do you want to do? And she's like, whatever you want to do. And I feel like that's, that's one her. of her things yeah, that led did. her into a situation with um, Darius. Because okay, she just yeah. let the guys run whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. she needs to shut that mind, out. Where's your mind, girl? Where's your mind? So then we go to Quincy and Jackson at home again. They stay at home. That's it. They, they stay at home. That's they they never do. out. Well, Jackson broke, so he can't go out. <laughs> he don't got a choice. <laughs> And Quincy really don't got a choice either. He's broke too. So I mean, <laughs> he's broke too. They all broke. They stay home. Quincy gets a text from Darius, and Darius basically said, "Like this girl's annoying." Right. And they laugh about it, <laughs> and then um, someone um, knocks on the door. So Quincy gets up, and he's like, "It's the girls or whatever." And Jackson's like, "He's upset because he so he want to finish his application. He's like, That's bro, all he wants to do." I said, "After I finish my application, That's <laughs> all he wants to do." And I'm just like, "Jackson, baby, you still applying for a job?" <laughs> Still, oh, he do. on his hundredth application. Yes, Poor and maybe Jackson. he had maybe like one interview. One interview, yeah. Phone it was interview. A phone interview. And it didn't go well. No, mm-hmm. it did not. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the girls come in. Um, they got a bottle ready for whatever. Mm-hmm. So um, next scene, Alicia, she's still singing her her heart out. Still um, singing. And Jordan's in her room. She got a message from Lame Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about it was hard seeing you the other day because I had to watch you walk away from me again. I miss you, Jordan, more than anything. Why are they still Facebook friends? I think that's, that's weird. Right? I think that's weird. Right? I'm like, boy, bye. Like, he didn't even try to chase her down when he, when um, he she saw left her walk him. away. Right. But mm-hmm. it was hard to watch you walk yeah, away. Yeah, but you didn't try to stop me, though. Hmm. <laughs> So interesting, and, and he said he was here for like what two months? Yeah, two months. Yeah. And you did, did you reach out to her no. before that? So no. now all of a sudden you miss her. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. Okay, lamb, 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 lamb. <laughs> so, um, so we back to Q and Jackson with the girls. Um, honestly, the girls that he invited, they a bit delicious for me. Tatatalicious. <laughs> <Mm-mm. laughs> they a little too tatatalicious. Sh- homegirl had on a lace black. Top with a bedazzled, bedazzled. NY oh, yeah. I saw cap. That, that I was saw interesting. That. Yeah. Kept blinking. Yeah, I yeah. Like... That was a choice that she. That was oh. a choice. <laughs> and her eyebrow. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you saw her eyebrows too. <laughs> they were mad dark. She said, Sharpie. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna talk about it. You talking about the light skin one, right? No comment. Huh? Hello. Um, <laughs> so you know, Q offers them drinks, but he doesn't even sit next to them. Did you notice that? Yeah, it was like he looked like a complete yeah. lame compared to mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he like thanks them for bringing the bottle, and Jackson's like, "Yeah, thanks." Jackson yeah, looks he's disgusted. so mad. He's so disgusted Jackson with these girls. So he's like, "I don't mess with girls like you. Like, right. I mess with girls with class." Hello. <laughs> I don't know what Quincy's on. And he's too busy applying the jobs to even pay attention <laughs> to what's going on. He didn't put the laptop down. <laughs> Um, but then the light skinned girl to me, she looked like Jordan. Did she not? No. She looked like Jordan. A little bit. Mm. Um, I'm going to go with a no. <laughs> I'm going to go with a mm, Jordan mm, double. I'm going to go with a mm. <laughs> um, So what then what happened? So the girls on their phone, they're laughing at a girl saying, um, oh, she thinks she cute, but she look like she, Af- she thinks she African. So Jackson's like, what does that even mean? Again, Quince, he does not have time for these Quince little girls. Quincy's like, yeah, I'm lost too. Like, what do y'all, <laughs> y'all don't identify as African? And so, but Dazzled Lace's girl is like, no, I don't. <laughs> she said, like, I mean, like, I put down <laughs> African American on applications or whatever, but that's because that's the only option that they got there. Right, but I'm an African. Girl, that do you hear sad. yourself? But then the darker skinned one said, I'm Team Caramel, but she looked like Team Mocha. I was confused. <laughs> Because you're not Team Caramel. 
Know your color, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> know your color. <laughs> yes. You no. Know. She's like, and then um, the girl's like, you know, we're not black, black. You know, we red bone. Got to be something else mixed in us. Got to be. Oh <laughs> Stupid girls. These this girls. <laughs> <laughs> so then Bedazzle comes up to Quincy. She's like, you can't say light-skinned chicks ain't baddies. And while she's talking to him, he, you know, he got Alicia in his head. Like, yeah, he visualizing Alicia telling him, like, you can't... Um, she's like, you can't deny that you don't like, you know, brown-skinned girls, that all black is ain't beautiful. Yep. You Don't act like you wasn't putting your hands in my kinky curly hair. Kinky curly. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's what she said. Right. Mm-hmm. So why are you sitting here next to these self-hating little girls? True. All facts. Like, why? So then he runs into the bathroom. Like, he's sick <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> he's sick off Alicia? <laughs> he needs to splash some water in yeah, his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake him up. So he comes out like, you know, this liquor got me feeling a little sick. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little sick. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Jackson's like, and so he's like, you know, we're gonna call it night. Um, and Jackson's like, all right, so he's sick. I got work to do. Bye, ladies. What y'all about to do? Because y'all can't stay here. <laughs> he said another time. Yeah, another he's time. A savage. Come yeah. in another he's time. Savage. He don't have time for he it. He has. He needs a job. Okay, that's his yep. main focus. He wants a job. But Jackson season one would be all here for it. Mm-hmm. Would he? He still would. Not with those girls. Not with these girls. No. So then the girls leave, and then we go to Monica and Jason. They're on the balcony or rooftop. And Darius hitting up, no, now Darius is hitting up Monica's phone, like talking about, it was really good seeing you. I still love you. Darius and Lance need to quit with this. I, <laughs> you know, it was hard seeing you today. Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> so she ignored it, but her world, you know, still stopped. Always. Whenever Every he texts, time. it's just, you, it stops all the time. seeing it. All the time. Every She's shook. Time. She don't know what to do. <laughs> Then Jason asks her, oh. <laughs> the what do you think about the question. All Lives Matter yes. movement? <laughs> and then she answered. Um, I thought what? she had a good answer. She had a very she had good, a good answer. answer. I thought she had a good answer. I thought she had a good answer. But did you think answer. it was like random to be on a date and just... Yeah, that's all of a random. Sudden, so, what do you think about the movement? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they were already talking about it. Yeah. So it was just like... Okay. Right. <laughs> so she said she wasn't here for it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she thinks that like it over overshadowed the Black Lives mm-hmm. movement, yeah. mm-hmm. and, and people like, ignoring it. Right. And she gets all worked up about it, and then she like apologizes because mm-hmm. like that's a touchy subject for her. Yeah. And Jason's like, it's cool. Then they start making out. Yeah, let's make out now. I just think, I think she wants to hear her speak. Yeah. I <laughs> think, like, I think. that turned him on. Yeah. Like, he wants mm-hmm. to kiss her now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So weird. I, I think it was his test. Like, let me see how she answered this question. Yep. If she answered right, she wiped it. Please. She wiped it. really already feeling So then we go back to Jordan, uh, my spirit animal, and she responds <laughs> to Lance, seeing you made me sick to my stomach. <laughs> I love Jordan. I love her for this. I love it. But, side note, are we ever going to get back to... So, I guess she's not pregnant. No, because she's drinking, drinking wine. Drinking wine. So... Oh, true. I almost come to... Not like she took a pregnancy, pregnancy You still test? think she's pregnant? I still think. <laughs> she don't care? She I took one? No, I feel like Jordan wouldn't do that. She would at least go to a doctor. Mm-hmm. Not be in denial and be like, or maybe, drinking. Maybe she thought she was pregnant. And maybe she lost the baby. We don't know yet. I don't know. Be all, like no, this is all like, yeah, this is all like within a week, I feel like, these last two episodes. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But then they, we never had that conversation we with never the girls, had it, yeah. right? When they no, like, yeah, they never no. questioned Mm-mm, her. No. Hmm. That's weird. Odd. So then Lance responds, well, I guess there's no chance of it'll have ever happen again, huh? Just one last tam- time, Jordan? Mm-hmm. No. Get it to your freaking head. <laughs> I don't want to see you. <laughs> So at this point, everyone is depressed. Right? Everybody. Darius, he's still basically naked on the couch. On the couch, Mad thinking the about world. Monica. Mm-hmm. Um, Jackson still applying to jobs, not getting no responses. <laughs> Alicia she's still crying in the bathroom. She's still crying. She's been in that bathroom all day. <laughs> Q uh, Quincy, he's still looking at old photos of him and Alicia. Mm-hmm. Now he's deleting them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Um, so then the next day, everybody's on their grind. Girls are handling business. You know, they're communicating with yes. each other. Every, everyone's on top of things, right? Done, done, and done. But for the guys, that's not the case at all. They're having a tough time keeping these clients happy. Sure, it's um, a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Quincy and Jackson, they were late to deliver some, some suits for a client, and the client went off on them. Mm-hmm. Off. And <laughs> Oh, like he's mean. Like, yes. He's like, I'm mean. not resigning with I'm you, Quincy. I'm not resigning. This would never happen if Alicia was still here. Is it true? Uh-oh. Talk he about lying. it. He not Talk lying. about it. Um, so, Quincy, you just bringing Jackson down because he's he not used to this kind of lifestyle. <laughs> right. He's like, this is our third unhappy client. Like, yep. He, he mm-hmm. can't handle all this mess. No, he can't. He's like, we need some extra help. But Quincy's like, this is still a trial, so we don't really have the money to hire anyone. Right. But where's Darius? At home. At home. <laughs> I guess they told you that. Do they not trust him to help with the business? Because no. he's sitting there laying naked with no shirt. Like, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> useless. He's useless. <laughs> uh, so then Jackson's like, well, you know where we can get the money from. Mm-hmm. Reality show. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Alicia and Monica, they're on the phone now, and she asks her the same thing, like, sh- we should do the interview, like, easy, fast money, like, we mm-hmm. should do it. So, Alicia has second thoughts about it, but um, they next scene, we found out that they all agreed to do it. Yeah, so, um, Dr. Rick Singleton, a.k.a. Like, Professor Ogilvy. When he came, I said, hey, Professor Ogilvy! <laughs> <laughs> Professor Ogilvy! <laughs> I'm so happy to see him! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so he's walking through all the steps, like, mm-hmm. tell me your age, name, you know, all that jazz. I was surprised to see that uh, Alicia and Quincy are younger yeah. than them. They're 26 yeah. and everybody else is 30. Yeah, so yeah that was weird. Did, did we ever see how everybody met? In college, college? I think. Yeah, I think in college. I yeah. think so, yeah. Okay. Um... um. So the first question. the first question he asks is, is there someone you're refusing to forgive because they hurt you in the past? And is that pain still affecting you currently? And Quincy is upset. He's like, are you serious, Doc? Did you not watch the other tapes? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know why I'm here, right? I'm going to have to get into you that right now. You know why I'm here. Next question. Next question. <laughs> not doing this right now. <laughs> So Jackson explains the issue he had with his parents. Mm-hmm. You know, dad was abusive, cheating, jerk, with no respect for women, and his mom didn't love herself enough to walk away. Mm-hmm. He was saying it was hard for him to forgive them for how he grew up. But he was like, I don't think that affected but my that, current but life. it doesn't affect me. Not at all. I'm good yeah, over here, yeah, Doc. okay. I'm good. And the doctor's like, I'm good. seriously? <laughs> As the tears are rolling down, I'm good. <laughs> it doesn't affect me at all. I don't even know why I'm, why I'm here, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, good. Right. I'm quote, good. Unquote. Quote, quote, I'm yes. good. Quote. You need I'm like, help, Jackson. Try you need again. Help. Try again. <laughs> Seek help. Yeah. You need it. <laughs> so we go to Jackson. He's visiting his parents. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know, I got more free time since I lost my job. Right. Because the mom was like, I'm so proud of you for, like, mm-hmm. helping and stepping up. And he was like, I'm only here because I don't have a job. Right. And I have extra time on my hands. <laughs> so mean to I her. I wasn't really yes, bad for you. I know. I do kind of feel bad for <laughs> feel her. bad sometimes. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's your mother. Yeah. So she's like, why do you have to be so cold to us? <laughs> I'm like, ma'am, you should have never asked that question because yep, that set him wrong off. <laughs> he read her. Because he was in such a good mood. He and was then good. he was like, <laughs> You want to know why? You want to know why? <laughs> he picks up a photo of, I guess, his half siblings and he's like, This is why. Um, he had us out here thinking we're a big, happy family. Meanwhile, their mama was across the street. And she's like, Your father made a mistake. You know, she was a teenager, and I had to like, step Whoa. in and respect me for that. What? What are we talking about here? <laughs> so the dad... The dad, oh, had, he got a teenager pregnant, yes. and then the mother mm-hmm. raised the kids? The kids! Two As, kids! Not even just one, two! Mm-mm. Crazy! Mm-mm. And she's still with him. <laughs> talking about he respect me for that, baby. He respects me, because I raised his kids for him. <laughs> Oh my God! This why mother. that teenager across the street lived, lived her, her life. life. Went to the parties. I was raising the babies. Aren't you we're proud of me? One big happy family. Mm-hmm. No, no. So Jackson, Jackson basically tells her, "Nobody respects you. I don't respect <laughs> you. You don't respect yourself. I'm out." <laughs> and that was it. I'm like, that's crazy though. Yeah. The mother really thinks that she did something yeah. good. Yeah. That's the mm-hmm. weird part. And like, nobody's, like, thanking her, like, oh, my God, thank those you Those so kids much. don't like you. They don't respect you. Yeah. 
he didn't respect you, the father. Like, what? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so confused. Yes. So, Alicia is asked the same question. She Was she talking about Russell? Was she talking, she was talking I about thought Quincy? she was talking about Quincy, yeah. She I said, thought like, she was talking about Quincy. Okay. She held a grudge against her ex because, like, he lied so much to her. He deceived her because he never really gave her the full story. Mm-hmm. Um, and she would always be angry because she was led to believe that he was finally hers, and then the truth would come and, like, slap her on her face. And she's like, and she can't forgive herself for the same exact reason. Right. I think because she did the same thing to Quincy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then we um, go to Quincy, and he's back with a girl, more of his type. He got another female. A naturalista. Quincy, do you know you're fighting for a business? <laughs> just want to know if you remember that. He doesn't. Because you he's... have three unhappy clients this week alone. <laughs> <laughs> but you and have yet, females every single day at your yeah, house. Yeah, something's mm. not adding up. So she's helping him, not even helping because he's chilling. He basically hired her, but he's not paying her. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Free labor here. Free labor. <laughs> well, she get her payment later on. In the oh night. yeah. Oh, but she's gonna get that payment. <laughs> she gets her payment. She's like, didn't she used to do all this stuff with your ex girl? And he's like, I don't want to talk about that. I got better stuff to do. So like what? Make out. <laughs> Not do what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Not make this client happy. I'd want to make you happy. You're, you're all that I'm thinking yeah, about yeah. right now. You're my main focus. Um, so Jordan goes out with a white boy. And so far, you know, the date seems fine. They share, like, a passion for, like, owning something, building it, and then passing it down. But then the white boy makes, a, like, a racist comment about how she's different from most <laughs> black girls. <clears throat> He's like, you know, they're like ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> and always speaking about being pro-black. Right. She just get over the past. She like the past. You know, slavery. <laughs> that was like years ago. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it happened a hundred. <laughs> it happened over a hundred years ago, right? Why are we talking ago, about right? this? Oh, what? Crap. So she's like. She's shook. She don't know what oh, to yeah. do. Oh, yeah. She's like, I would educate you, but I feel like you enjoy being, you know, ignorant. I'm not about to get over slavery, but I'll tell you what, I'm over this date. <laughs> yeah, she leaves. Cause... But he was looking lost, like... Hmm. He was, like, really shocked what, that she what did didn't I say? understand. Well, at what point did it go left? <laughs> <laughs> like, was I not supposed to mention Slave? that she's black? And <laughs> but slavery did it. Does she not know about slavery? <laughs> like, he was so confused. He was so, so confused. Gosh. I feel like, do you feel like she should have went... Were you surprised that she didn't go off on him? I was surprised that she yeah. didn't go off, but I think it was good that she just walked out. But I didn't like what she did after she walked out. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody got no comment. <laughs> so she leaves and she texts Lynn. No, he texted her. It was well, a Facebook it was, message. But it was like, I feel like those were the old messages that yeah. she never replied to. So she replied back, mm-hmm. like, where? Because he said, you know... Can we go out to, uh, to, to dinner, dinner and catch up? I guess she's like, this is a bad day. Ain't, no, ain't nobody else out here, so might as well go back to the past. Oh, man. Oh. No. Oh, no. man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then Professor Ogilvy asked, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Can we call him that, please? No. Please. I'm pretty sure he hates when people call him that. <laughs> <laughs> so then Dr. Singleton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He asked her, like, do you think people can re- perceive you as being bitter for refusing to forgive someone that hurts you in the past? Mm-hmm. And she's like, listen, like I told the last therapist, I hate giving people power over me, and I can never forgive my ex after the way he hurt my heart. But after carrying all this pain for so long and losing what could have been the love of my life, mm, Keith. she's mm-hmm. talking about Keith, y'all. Yeah, she is. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ready to get past it. So she's ready to grow up. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She I- is. She I is. Think so. Good she for is. you, I Jordan. Think so. Yeah. That's good. So now Monica and Gentleman Jason leaving their date. Um, another wonderful date, might I add. Um, <laughs> they had a little paint night. Oh yeah. So um, they walking and then Darius hits her phone up yet again. Begging. He was begging this time. He. he Can I see you, phone? please? <laughs> With all the ease. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I felt like she was doing like the Mr. Crab meme. Yeah, like, she was all she of a sudden, like, 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 whoa. So every time she sees Darius' name on her phone, she, her world she just stops. stops. Yes. Yep. So um, Jay's like, you good? 
Um, she's like, yeah, I'm good. And then he pushes her against the gate. <laughs> and she's like, I like you, Monica. And she's like, I like you too. They kiss and laugh off into the night. There it goes. <laughs> Mm-mm. So the next Darius answers the question um, about forgiving. He angry. He's so angry. Yeah, because he messed up his life. He hates his life. He hates his <laughs> he life. Hates his he had a girl <laughs> pregnant that he can't stand the thought of. Lost Monica, the quote unquote, I guess, love of his life, I guess. Um, so he's like, I'm trying to, he's trying to forgive himself. Like, if I don't forgive myself, nobody else will, which mm-hmm. is true. I, I guess agree. he. He's yeah, he's I another agree. one that's growing up, yeah, maturing, yeah. and he's so. reali- realizing his I mistakes. So too. I mm-hmm. agree. Mm-hmm. So next mm-hmm. we have Quincy. He calls Alicia. Um, but wait, when he snuck out the room after <laughs> putting it down, um, <laughs> he's like looking through his phone, and I'm like, "Is this what you do? You sex a girl up, and then you go through your phone yeah. looking at pictures of Alicia? Like, <laughs> what's going on right now? He's going through a lot. But then he, he called Alicia, so I was like, oh, "Okay, cool. yeah." <laughs> But it's one of those fake calls that Very you just want to hear somebody's voice. You want to hear her voice. Yeah, like, you remember that shoe I left for Because he's like, <laughs> <laughs> can you send me the number to our old apartment building? <laughs> what? Oh, I want to see if I got mail. Go go find the number. Ain't nobody mailing you. <laughs> nobody nobody... looking for you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Alicia's looking like, what? She's like, sure, I guess. I, I'll send it to you right away, I guess. <laughs> So Monica, she comes home cheesing mad hard. She's still on the high. She's still on that high. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then um, she tells Alicia, uh, Alicia's like, well, how was your day? And she was like, it was amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you about it tomorrow. <laughs> um, then we go to her session with the doctor, mm-hmm. and she basically says that she needs to start holding grudges because everyone knows that she can't stay mad for too long. Like yeah. Everyone yeah. knows her as mm-hmm. the one that's like super forgiving. And she needs to learn to stop that. Mm-hmm. Like she needs right. to be able to say, like, no, I'm not going to go back to yeah. us being cool. I need to whatever. learn to be mad and stay mad. Stay mad, right. Um, I can relate. Yes, I'm sure you can. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so she gets a text from Darius, of course, late at night. Because mm-hmm. uh, Jason's a caller. I don't think he texts. Oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah, no, he always yeah, like, yeah, can yeah. I call you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but mind you, while... Darius is texting Monica. She's in lingerie. She is in lingerie. Yeah, she's in lingerie. She got, she's so, go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) So then she goes to the door and it's Darius. No. At first I thought it was Jason because they look alike. They look very much alike. (laughs) They brothers. They Um, do. So then she sneaks him in. And I was like, damn girl. I was like, come on. Come on. Why you do that? Damn. You just came from an amazing Mm -hmm. day. I was mad. I was mad. I was Um, mad too. But I guess we'll see. What happens next week? Oh, but I was mad. Yeah, I wanted to slap her. I was mad too. Cause how you going? All these one. We'll get to the cues. It's an amazing day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now let's get into the questions, comments, and concerns. Mama, where did he job? I promise you, modest the finest the queens. Daddy can't thank you enough. Opportunity, live right here, the American dream. And you gon' have to fly to get what they get if they run My immigrant son, my immigrant son Immigrant child, immigrant child The hate gon' make you strong, but the strength gon' make me proud So go on, kick your feet up, you gon' be here for a while My immigrant son, my All right, so before we get into our QCCs, I'm going to read some comments that we got for our last Tough Love recap. Um, at at Spoken Diva. She says, I've been wishfully waiting on a backstory of, on Jordan and Jackson. I think they might have been low-key, quote-unquote, buds before. No! <laughs> but did you say that last week? You think yeah, they have yeah, something? Yeah, you said that. Yeah, you, the way they were I looking at that. each other was I heard like, that. Do you think they have something? It, it will probably happen at the end of the season. I don't have time. I, I think so. You, I don't I see so. it. I, I see don't it. want it. Maybe I don't want it. Both. either. They're both so down and out right now. Yeah. It's like, what you doing? I ain't doing nothing. Let's go. <laughs> maybe, maybe. 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 Um, at Tyrell S. on SoundCloud, he said, Monica is cl- clearly the relationship girl or the easily attached type that loves love. Facts. Yes. Agreed. I agree. Agreed. I agree. Um, she she just loves love. She does. So, and then referring to episode one, um, he says, but Keith's girl probably was insecure because he mentioned to his girl about Jordan. That says a lot when guys bring up a woman we never dated. So I guess the fact that Keith 
um, even brought up Jordan's name, and Jordan's not really, like, his quote-unquote ex-girlfriend. Right. This girl's like, who is this girl? Like, she's insecure about it. Mm-hmm. So now, that's why she was so pressed on the phone. <laughs> and then he says, do y'all think, do y'all think Jordan Jackson might have a fling coming up in the future? No. <laughs> Can you shut up? No, man. We'll see. We'll see, guys. I don't want to see that. I'm not here for it. Um, and I also want to shout out at FL underscore Classy. She has been showing mad love in the Twitter comments hey, saying how hey. much, you know, she's been enjoying each recap and using the hashtag seriously recaps, which is great. Thanks. So shout out to all you guys. Thank you for leaving comments. We appreciate it and keep them coming. All right. So, Phil, what are you thinking about after this episode? Um, The one concern I have is that. Straight to the concerns. Yeah, concern. Straight yeah. to the concerns. Wow. Is that, is that. Monica is going to be in a love triangle, and I think that's unexpected because she's she's supposed to be the good girl. Good girl right, right. So I don't know. I'm concerned about that because I don't want that to happen. Not about that life. Yeah. Monica I don't want that to happen because I don't think she needs to be in that. Stick with I forget his name. Jason. 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 Yeah. Stick with him. Stick with but, him. Yeah. But you know, she's like I said, she's down for. She's down for some. Right, right. I right. knew Darius was gonna come back. I was hoping. I was just hoping it was gonna be yeah. in season eight, you know, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but long down the road. Long down. But True. I don't well, know. Yeah. I mean, even um, our sh- our assistant Cherie, um, she said, <laughs> "Is her one of her QCCs is Monica becoming a savage, as the kids say these days, or is she just being like a dummy?" A dummy. <laughs> Oh, but that's could she, what I had too. No, you had that me too? too. Me too. I had that. Is she considered weak or is she just, I don't know, dumb in love? Yeah. I, yeah. I had way. like, does Monica believe she can have sex without feelings? Because yeah. every time she gets a text, like her whole war stops. I don't think she can do it. So I don't <laughs> no. think the Sabbath life is for her. It. Leave that to Jordan. Yeah. It's not for you, girl. <laughs> it's not. It's not for you, baby girl. <laughs> I don't think she's weak. I just think. I think she's going to be in over her head. I don't know. Because she uh, yeah. thinks that she can handle it, and then it's going to really I think hit she's, her at yeah, one point. Yeah. I think, yeah, she's going to have to pick between Darius with a baby that's not his, Ooh. or mm. Speak Jason. <laughs> I mean, the the choice is obvious. you got to go with Jason. you got to go with Jason, but, but her heart is I with think Jason she's going to go with Darius. I hope not. I hope not. But if you the know. baby's not his, then, you know, it'll yeah. be okay. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. For Darius, um, silly question, but do we need to buy him an air conditioner? <laughs> do we need in to the with no clothes pitchin? on? Constantly with no clothes on, with a fan. Listen, all his money is going towards the baby. <laughs> he ain't got it right now. Oh my. God. <laughs> oh my God. Do we need to pitch in? We might. We might have to start a GoFundMe or something. Yeah, yeah. Him. We're we here need for you. an air conditioner. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pitch in. I'll put in a dollar. <laughs> Indiegogo? <laughs> Indiegogo I'll, set I'll set it up. A dollar. <laughs> a dollar. <laughs> That's it. I don't got time to support him. Oh, um, man. Alicia, do you know who you are without Quincy, girl? She don't. I don't she think don't. she does. Because her whole world is to pieces now that she's not she's with him. She's crying. Yeah. And doing her hair. And singing. <laughs> don't forget and to singing. And drinking wine. Recipe for disaster. That's no, she girl. just hurt. Mm-mm. That's how she dealt with her pain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Quincy, I'm concerned. I'm gonna go to a concern here. I'm concerned that he's messing around with too many girls and he's going to fool around and yeah, catch yeah. something. And mm, he's mm. gonna talk about having an S T D or something during the interviews and Alicia's gonna find out. How he found out about her secrets last season. When are we gonna see the girls watching the guys? I don't think interviews? so. I think it's over. Oh, I w- yeah, I can't wait to see that. Because I, I want to see, see like I wanna see what one. their responses is to what the guy said. I want to see that one. Will. I want to see that one. Um, but speaking of Quincy, um, Quincy, you're not focused. The <laughs> clients are not feeling you. You're bringing yourself and Jackson down. So why don't oh, you just yeah. give Alicia the company? Just give up. Yeah. Just give up. Live it's your true. life and just give up. True, true. Yeah, All but true. he can't because that's his manhood. Yeah. You know, he, he, can't. he can't. Man, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. What else you got? Um. Oh, okay. So the sidebar, Uh, the girl he was with in this episode, she looked like Alicia. They all do. 
But but she looked like her a lot, especially when they were in you know the yeah, bedroom yeah, yeah. and right. stuff. Right. That's true. I thought that was her. I was like, yeah. I was like, I was like <laughs> at least like, is this a memory? I thought that was her. So I think he's he's going for girls that look, of course, that look similar, yeah. like her, which is weird because it is weird. He's so angry, so I. I thought he would go for girls that Opposite. don't look like her. He tried, like her. but remember he got sick. He's trying to replace That's true. her, right? That's true. He's he like, you sick. too light skinned. No, <laughs> you're not my Alicia. No, no, no. You ain't got the kinky curl. You ain't got the kinky oh, curl, man. baby girl. Mm-mm. Oh man. <laughs> true. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, he's dealing with his pain, but it's not the right way. Everybody's mm-hmm. dealing no, with not. pain Mm-mm. in this episode. Everybody's depressed. They going through it. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um, and I thought Jordan and Professor, I mean, uh, <laughs> Doctor Singleton, were gonna start beefing because oh, yeah. he was laughing I think at her on the inside. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna have like oh, a yeah. lot of a lot of crazy because all I heard was uh, I'm not done. Uh, right, I'm not I'm done. Not done. I'm, not I'm, done. Not I'm not done. done. I'm and not I was done. like. I was like, okay, so I think that's going to keep going. And I think, yeah, something probably, I think a big, big argument yeah. is going to go down. I don't know why. I don't I think, think that no, but I, Jordan's no? not the type of person that she don't want to hear about herself, I guess. That's so, a defense mechanism on yeah. her part. But I feel like when he, like, seriously tells her the real about herself, like, she'll be shook. And she'll mm-hmm. just sit there and take it. Yeah. She's not okay, going to yeah, have anything so, maybe. to say yeah. to him. I feel like he'll give her more real than the first lady. Right, because yeah. that... You, yeah, that first lady was a fraud. I didn't like her. <laughs> I didn't like her. I thought she was a fraud. She was a fraud. I didn't like her. Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, what were your thoughts on the scenes with the social issues? Oh, this was a lot. Well, yeah. That, well, yeah, that was a comment I had, is that this episode had, had a lot. There was... Biggie versus Pac, mm-hmm. <laughs> Black slash Redbone versus African, yeah. and r- racism all mixed in. Yeah. It was a lot. I just, um, but I think they did everything good. The only one I didn't like was that Black Redbone. I, yeah. I, I yeah. thought I didn't like that, but I mean, you know. I mean, for that scene, I would have liked it if one of the guys would have educated the girls mm-hmm. yeah. and be like, you "Yeah, know, I was waiting for dark skin." Your black is right. beautiful, or something. Uh, yeah. Say something to them because they really truly believe that light skin is beautiful and dark skin is ugly. Yeah. And they and just they, walk the guys out still just believe like, in that. Yeah, yeah, they were just like, "You sound stupid." Right. Well, then but tell say her that. Something. Right. Say something. Especially because y'all both like educated black guys. T- yep. Tell these black mm-hmm. girls something. Mm-hmm. Educate these little that. girls. I agree one hundred percent. They should have. I agree but, they, but Jackson, he got to find a job. So. Yeah, it's the, I don't got time. <laughs> <laughs> He's changed so much. I feel like he he hasn't gone out on dates. He keeps applying to jobs, to jobs, to jobs. I think his girlfriend is that laptop on his. <laughs> <laughs> that laptop, I think that's what it is because he hasn't gone on dates. He curved those girls real quick. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think he's changing. Maybe he's yeah. been blackballed because. Yeah, that's what I wanted to oh, say. Oh, that's right. By it's m- very hard Mr. for him. Duvall, right? To get yeah. a job. Because he's, he, every time we see Jackson, he's applying, 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 but nobody's hiring him or calling him back. Because so. I'm pretty sure he's very Mr. qualified. Duvall, yeah. yeah. He's very qualified, but. Mm. He was like one of the youngest at his firm or right. something like that or whatever. Black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, he definitely Duval got his name out in those papers. Do not hire this guy. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. Um, poor fella. <laughs> <laughs> um, for Jordan, do you think she should give Lance a second chance? No, I think she should keep going for Keith. I don't this, know. Maybe. If this is Lance that gave her the STD, was supposed to, weren't they engaged or something they like that? Engaged. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Right? That's him. Yeah. No. He no. was in town for two months, didn't think about her. But now it was hard for you to walk away. <laughs> no. 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 Because he was on speed dating, so. Yeah, you was oh, on speed right. dating. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still say she, she should go for Keith because somebody tells me that girl that was on the call, that was probably his sister or something. Sister? I don't know, like, no, s- someone sister. that was probably like, yeah, no, that's Jordan. <laughs> Cut it off. I don't know. I think it was a new girl. Oh, new maybe an old girlfriend. But then she know. say, like, oh, yeah, she said, this is his ex-girlfriend, we're back together. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't know. But Keith didn't say that. She said no, that. No, yeah. 
I'm mm-hmm. still waiting for Keith at the door. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I think it's coming. Me too. I See the finale. Coming. I think it's coming. <laughs> Maybe. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Um, you have any more? You have any more? I'm good. No. I don't have I don't have any more. This episode was crazy. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. It was really good. I can't wait for episode five. five. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> So that was episode four of Tough Love. We want to thank our super dope guest, Phil, for coming in and recapping this episode with us. Um, can you tell the people where they can find you and also, you know, share any upcoming projects or anything like that? Um, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, I am P H I O Hernandez, and I'm still writing for Black Tone TV. Uh, we're hoping at the end of 2017 we're going to have our own web content, our Ooh. own web series, nice. you know, Blue, Black, and Sexy Part 2, yeah. uh, <laughs> or, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that, and then I have a project coming out maybe at the end of, of this year with with a friend of mine mm-hmm. about web series, but it's still too Ooh. early. But, yeah, we'll see, so that's it. Yeah. Awesome. That's so cool. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys, so that's it for this week. As always, you can email us at seriouslypodcast at gmail.com or follow us on all social media networks at Seriously Podcast. For episode five of Tough Love, we're going to be joined by some of the cast members. Keeping up with the theme of our fan favorite edition, we want you guys to be more involved than ever. So we will be giving you guys a phone number to call in our show at 7 p.m. on January 27th to ask your questions, comments, and concerns live on air with the cast so please be on the lookout for all our social media accounts for the number to call so you can be involved trust us you don't want to miss this thanks guys so much for listening bye